Hi, House of Rhythm. I'm Jordan. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, before we get started, if you are not able to do this video at the moment, please save our video for later. Also, if you have any friends that you might or that you think might enjoy this, please go ahead and send it to them. Uh, you can shoot it to them in a DM and like this video, please, if you enjoy it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on hip openers. So just a quick seated hip opener sequence to help you out. If you've been sitting all day, if you've been standing all day, it will help um, hip pain and also it'll help relieve a little bit of back tension that you might be having. And so uh, I didn't mention this before, but if you have a block, if you have tight hamstrings or anything and you want to sit on a block, you can sit on a pillow, a bolster if you have one, or even a couple of books. Um, not necessary, but does help if you have tight hamstrings. So we'll just start in an easy seated position, one leg stacked in front of the other, hands uh, palms can be facing down or up on your knees. So let's close the eyes. Take a few breaths here. And start to add some movement. So we're gonna draw the chest forward, gaze up toward the ceiling, draw the shoulders back, exhale, round the spine. Curl onto the tailbone slightly, inhale, chest forward, gaze up, exhale, round. Good, so we're going for a seated cat-cow here. Inhale, exhale. One more round, inhale, exhale. And make your way back to center. So, let's go ahead and start with just a simple Baddha Konasana here. Bound angle, you're bringing the soles of the feet together, knees apart. You can place the thumbs in the arches of the feet and then open the feet up like a book. Inhale, lengthen the spine, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward with a flat back. So go as far as you feel comfortable. If you'd like, you can keep the elbows tucked toward the hips or you can gently place the elbows on the knees or on the thighs and guide the legs a little bit further open, closer down to the mat. And take a few breaths here. I would say for each posture, pausing um, in the posture for at least five breaths would be great. If you can hold it for longer, if you have more time, then that's awesome. We're breathing through the nose and out the nose. Inhale, come back up to center. Good. So from here, let's bring the left foot or left leg under the right and then we're going to cross that right foot over that left knee. So sit bones are down on the mat and then you're going to place that left hand on the outside of the right knee and then inhale reach that right hand up toward the ceiling exhale release that right hand down behind you by your, the low back, you wanna keep the, nice, the spine nice and long, and then slowly start to twist. Drawing that right shoulder back, and you can stop wherever this feels comfortable. So if you're just barely twisting, that's totally fine. You're getting the benefits, you're twisting, you're lengthening the spine. Just keep that posture nice and strong. Gaze can go back over the shoulder, to the side, or to stay to the front, depending on uh, how your neck is feeling or how your shoulders are feeling. Good, next exhale, release the stretch. And we'll go to the other side. So right foot comes under, left foot crosses over. Good. Left or right hand, sorry, comes onto the outside of that left knee. Inhale, reach the left hand up. Exhale, release that left hand behind you. And we're twisting to the left, keeping the spine nice and long. 
and gazing wherever it feels comfortable over the left shoulder to the left side or straight ahead. Again, holding these postures for at least five breaths or longer if you can. Exhale, slowly release and come back to center. So for the next hip opener, we're going to do a, we're gonna do fire log pose. So this is where a block could come in handy or maybe a rolled up blanket, folded blanket, um, anything that just gives you a little bit of height. So this is gonna help stretch this outside area of your hips, low back, um, Okay, so we're gonna start with the right leg on the bottom. Flex that right foot. You're sitting even on the sit bones here. And then your left leg is gonna come on top. So what you want to do is you want to, ooh, I can already feel this. My hips are so tight. Um, so what you want to do is you want to try to get your ankle in line with your knee, um, your top ankle in line with your bottom knee and then the top knee in line with the bottom ankle. So you're keeping the feet flexed. Both feet are flexed, toes are going toward the shins. Good, so you wanna get nice and even here. You want a nice straight line. You can stay here. If you need to modify, again, block or books or pillow, blanket, whatever. Uh, go ahead and place that block or whatever you have under this knee if this is getting really painful without or if you are just needing a little bit of extra support here. And you can still feel that stretch in the outer hip area, low back. It's feeling really good right now. So I'm gonna remove the block. If you need the prop, keep it there. If you'd like to take it further, you can inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, start to walk the hands out in front. So you can fold as far as it feels comfortable, as long as you're keeping that alignment with the, with the knees and the ankles. If you would like to start leaning forward, you can use a block. If you have another block, um, you can come down to the forearms. And this already, for me, is getting really intense. Um, if you're having any pain on your knees when you fold forward, come out of it, please. You don't wanna harm your knees. Um, so even if you have that leg supported and you want to start to walk forward a little bit, you can do that as well. So again, keeping, staying in that posture for at least five breaths longer if you can. And let's do the other side. So left foot comes down, right foot on top, and you're finding that alignment with the knee and ankle. Flexing the feet. Good, and of course, you always hear this, I'm sure, but each side is different. So you want to accommodate whatever side you're on. Um, if you need to use a prop on this side and you didn't use one on the other side, that's totally fine. It's okay, just use the prop. And you can place it wherever it works for you too. Um, you can place it at an angle if you need to. Good, so we're pausing here. Again, if you'd like to inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, walk the hands forward. And again, if you're feeling any pain in either knee or in the low back, please come out of that posture, out of that forward fold. This for me is a great stretch to kind of just, it gives you a moment to not fully relax because you definitely feel the stretch, but it does give you a moment to kind of just be a little bit more active in the posture, in the stretch, or be a little bit more passive. So um, this is a really intense stretch and I usually opt for the more passive, um, just staying here 
uh, not really folding forward if I don't feel like it. So on your exhale, go ahead and release. Good, and we'll just stretch the legs out in front and give them a good shake here. Sway from side to side. Good, so one more really nice stretch that I love to do and pretty much add in all of my flows. We're going to lay down on the back. So you're laying down flat on your back, almost like you're gonna get into bridge pose here, but we're not. So you're gonna do a figure four stretch. I'm sure you've done this before. You're placing that left ankle on top of the right knee, left foot is flexed. Weave the left arm through the legs. Interlace the fingers behind that right thigh or on top of the right shin. So it just depends on your flexibility here. Good. And just pause here. Breathing, drawing that leg a little bit closer towards your upper body. Good, and exhale, release, and we'll switch sides. So even this stretch alone, if you've been sitting for a long time or standing for a long time, this is so good. You can even do this in bed right before you go to bed. So easy. So right ankle over the left knee, foot is flexed, weave that right arm through and start to draw the legs closer toward the upper body. And shoulders are relaxed against the mat here. And exhale, release. Good. Sway the knees from side to side. And slowly rock up to seated. So that's our hip opener sequence for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you, again, uh, like this video, you can save it, share it with a friend. Uh, and yeah, so uh, we do have a Facebook page. You can find us at House of Rhythm, or you can visit, visit our website at www.houseofrhythm.com and see what great membership deals or drop-in uh, deals that we have. So thank you for joining me. Namaste.